Hey my friends, how are you? So I've got some resin figures going on here for the panther. So this is the guy that's going to be talking with the uh, tank dude. So he's like a, I don't know, um, just a soldier. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I really like the resin figures. And so I've just got another little food canister to build up for him. And we're going to make that machine gun. MP40, I got that out of the Hobby Boss kit because it doesn't look too bad, but I got this as well. Sorry, I was just reading a message. Um, yeah, I got this as well, and um, I got distracted then. It's got heaps of straps, it's got belts, it's got see that down there, shovels. You've even got, see the little round ones? They're buttons. Scissors. Combs. I don't know what those hands are for, but they're there. Uh, watches. Goggles. Different belt buckles. Soles of your shoes. Just the actual back sole. And there's some watches. So it's two cigarette cases. See the knives and forks? It's got some Lugas that you can build. So I saw this, it was 20 Australian dollars from China. I thought, yeah, get this. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to um, make a gun strap. You also get an instruction set with it. So you can, you know, make up the right ones. And as you can see there, they're a lot different to the mini art ones. There's, you know, there's different parts in it and you build them all up. Um, and then you've got the, the stem gear and you've even got straps for your, your gun barrel cases. You've got this you can make up. So there's two of these and then you've got the strapping to go with it. That would be hard to make, but that would be great because I, I wanted to start to scratch build figures, so I'll be able to use those. And that, then you've got the the shovels and the spades. You've got all these things for the mess tins, and then you can actually have that instead. Uh, you've got bread bag thingies. You've got these for the bread bags those for the bread bags so you can you know really upgrade all your kits you've got these boxes rifle cleaning kits um, yeah you've got all kinds of cool stuff your belts and then you've got a choice of buckles you've got everything just to make really cool stuff so I'm gonna get into that and use that and the tanker I'm gonna use for the um, panther is this fella so he's got a map in his hands but i've painted the map separately so that's what he's looking at so that's why he's got no hands because he's got a map and i'm going to go for try and recreate the uh winter camo pattern and i'm going to do it on this guy so he'll get a black top so i think he's a still crewman but i'm going to turn him into a panzer crewman and um I'll give this guy the same pants, so these two can have the same pants, the winter uh, camo, and I might give him a white top. And he's, so, he's holding the map, he's standing next to him, and he's pointing at something on the map, like that. So they can stand on the back of the, the panther I'm building, because I'm going to make it a winter one. I've also got the tracks going on for the panther. And you've got to put these two little horns in every single one. So I've got 80 built up. And then I chuck them in the bag. I've got four more to build. You need 87. Um, well, they're saying you need 87. But I did the first one and you only need 84. So the first one's on there. And what's really good too is I only put the, um, what do you call them? Those black stopper thingies. Yeah, I'm having a blank. You usually put them in your wheels. Um, they're, they're plastic, but I only put them in two wheels, so 
you can see it's sort of holding it on. You can see the ones that want to fall off. They don't have any in them. But this one and this one here, I put in the little rubber bits so they hold on right. But what's going to do is it makes it really easy to actually pull this off if you don't put those little bearer thingies in, rubber bearers. So I'll be able to just take that off good. And I've already tried it, it comes off good. Um, some of the problems you get with taking them off with, you know, the smaller tanks is the, the track will just break. So when you're doing Panzer fours, I usually, usually, I will just paint it all together. You know, especially with Panzer fours and um, Panzer threes, because you get a lot of space in there. You, you can just get in and you don't need to go too nutty under there. That's not a spot that people ever really look at. You're always looking at it from that sort of angle. But I still can get the brush in there and get stuff in there. But you don't need to look, go crazy on it. That's what I found. But isn't the panther big? You don't realise how big the panther is until you build one. I realised when I built the Yag Panther. See, the, the T-55's not even as big as it. The T-55 is a lot smaller, you know, shorter, sorry. It's, it's got a similar length, but this is just so much bigger, you know? Everything's just, just, it's just a big hunk of metal. Like, even compared to that, you know, you think that the um, T-34 had wide tracks. Not really. That did. So these are big tanks. They're not very much smaller than a Tiger. I think they could even be a little bit bigger. But yeah, compared to a Panzer IV, like they really upped the ante in 1943, didn't they? No, like these little wee tanks are no good. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll put the last of the tracks together and we'll wrap it around. And then I can carry on with um, doing the top part and put it all on. And we'll take these tracks off and we can paint them separately, which I'm looking forward to. Because... Um, I haven't painted tracks like this yet, so off and in, in part, so that'll be good. I'll be able to really get into it and do a good job of it. But what I wanted to do it for is because you don't have much room in there and you've got that um, Zimmerite, so I want to be able to get in there and um, highlight the Zimmerite and do all that. Although I will be putting on the side skirts, so the metal protectors that go over the tracks, but I'll have a couple missing and um, we'll do some damage in those. I've got some nail punches. I might nail punch a few of them. You know, sort of create some damage that way. All right, guys, well, it was my last day of work today. So I'm pretty buggered. And you see, look at the size. This is, oh, what did I break? I hope nothing special. This is the Panzer IV chassis, Mini Arts Panzer IV chassis, compared to um, Meng's Panther chassis, it's just a monster. Like, you're driving around this, you're driving around it in a wee little tank. But you got one of these, you're like in business. Alright guys, I'll speak to you again soon.